Oh, that's a... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, they couldn't have uh, cast it anyway. Well... We have noodly boys. That was a pretty good turn. YouTube. Once again, we ended up just landing on a Grixis deck. Why? We don't know. How? We don't know. Uh, but we did. I really do like the 7 mana bolus. I think it is one of the best planeswalkers that are out there right now. Uh, it's very disruptive, very, very good. Um, so the first thing we do have is we have Yorian as our companion. Uh, again, this is one of my favorite things to have with Kior Best of the Sea Gods, as you can uh, blink this out and then have it come back in. Uh, and it just makes another 8-8 crack in and then puts, uh, like, taps all their non-land permanents and uh, it puts them in a consistent stun lock and just take them to the crack house, right? It's just a crack and gangbang at that point and you're just fucking attacking them. And that's also why we have two in main deck. So it's just a very, very heavy combo of Yorian and Curibus Sea Gods. Alternatively, we do have Haphazard Bombardment uh, that we can reset the counters on. Uh, as well as Maze Mind Tome, which we do sometimes just for the additional card draw. Um, but not always. Um, so we also added, um, really just for smoothing our draws out all over the place is everything that's two mana. We have a ton of it. So we have Treasure Map, Maze Mind Tome, Thought Erasure, and a couple Search for Escantas. Search for Escanta, two mana artifact. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may then put it into the graveyard. If you have seven or more cards in your graveyard, you may transform Search for Azkanta. Beautiful. It's a great card, right? Turns into a land. The land just taps for blue. Or you can pay three, tap. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them and put it in your hand at the rest of the bottom of your library. Now, we don't really care about this uh, because of the fact that Yorin is our only creature. And so... Uh, it's just it hits everything except for lands obviously uh, we do have a yorian as our companion so we can always get that out uh, we don't necessarily need to find a yorian uh, in our main deck very frequently uh, then we also have uh, thought erasure uh, which i kind of thought about changing this to uh, thought steve um so yeah, but i i think thought karen is probably a little bit better in some cases um, it is harder to cast, especially since we're not going uh, strictly Demir, which is blue-black. We are splashing red, so it's kind of one of those things where I really want to keep this in because it does help smooth out our draws a little bit. Um, but since we did also add Treasure Map, it may not be worth it. I just really don't like Thought Steve because you lose two life from it. Uh, I feel that that's just too much for the amount of aggro that's going on. I just don't like it. Uh, so Thought Erasure, it's just two mana. Look at the, uh, look at the opponent's hand, choose a non-land card from it, they discard it, and then you get to Surveil one. Uh, so Surveilling is just you look at the top card of your library, you may put it into the graveyard. Basically the same thing as what Azkanta does. So it helps feed Azkanta. Uh, then we have Maze Mind Tome. One of my favorite cards, uh, two mana artifact. Tap, put a page counter on it, scry one, always good. Uh, you can pay to tap it to draw a card, which is amazing. And then when there are four more page counters on it, exile it and gain four life. So this is our only real way to uh, gain life in this deck. Um, so it's both good and bad. Um, then we also have treasure map for smoothing out our draws again. There's just a ton of um, card, smooth, draw, everything. Uh, but it also doubles as ramp. Treasure map, two meta artifact. Um, pay one, tap, scry one, and then put a counter on it. If there are three or more counters on it, remove the counters and transform treasure map and create three treasure tokens. Now, each one of these treasure tokens 
can tap for one mana of any color, which is beautiful. Um, so the actual treasure trove itself, it's tapped, unfortunately, when you flip it, because obviously, you know, treasure map, pay one, tap it to scry one, and then you remove the counters and flip it, it's still tapped. But the land, what it can do is you can tap it, sacrifice the treasure token, and draw a card, which again is also card advantage, um, but we really do want to use this as our primary source of ramp, since it's really our only source of ramp. Um, in which case, this is where we put down our top end, uh, being Haphazard Bombardment, Cure Best Sea Gods, Cruel Reality, or Nicol Bolas or Ugin. Uh, so it's very, very good. Um, Anger of the Gods... Uh, we, so we have a ton of board wipes in here, a ton. Uh, we have Anger of the Gods, Extinction Event, and Languish. Um, so Anger of the Gods, 3 mana, deals 3 damage to each creature. If a creature dealt damage this way, would die this turn, exile it instead. Now the reason I'm doing this over the um, 3 damage one that can cycle um, is just the fact that this exiles permanents. Now I'm much more... You need to exile stuff more than just destroy it. Um, when you're going up against control deck, yeah, it's nice to pay three mana and draw a card on their turn, whatever. It's great. But the thing is, this deck doesn't have a ton of problems against control that we've noticed yet uh, because our top end just shits on control. Um, so having the anger of the gods isn't really a big deal. I think running four out of 80 isn't that bad. I don't think it's an issue. The, we have a lot more problems with cards that get brought back from the graveyard or have things that, you know, when they go into the graveyard, uh, we lose life. We, like all the Rakdos sack decks, anything that's reanimating, being able to exile them is much more important than being able to pay three life and draw a card. It, it just is, period. From all of my experience, that's just way better. Um, and I don't want to run both because I don't want to run both. Um, then we also have Extinction Event. Again, more exiling. Uh, it's four mana. Choose Otter Even. Uh, exile each creature with converted mana cost of the chosen value and zero is even. So if it's tokens, you choose even. Uh, then we have Languish, which is also pretty good. It's four mana. All creatures get minus four, minus four to end of turn. Beautiful. It doesn't exile, but it's still good. So then we have uh, another couple of Yorians in main deck. It's just five mana creature for a four or five flying. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you can exile any number of non-land permanents you own and control. Return those cards to the battlefield at the beginning of your next end step. Again, we use this to reset QR best sea gods and haphazard bombardment and maze mind tome primarily. Uh, so haphazard bombardment, six mana enchantment. When it enters the battlefield, choose four non-enchantment permanents. Very important, non-enchantment. You don't control and then put an aim counter on them. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, if two or more permanents you don't control have aim counters on them, destroy one of those at random. It's like a lottery. It's really funny and it's super fun. Um, the good thing about this is that it also stacks. Um, when you cast Yorian, you can exile it and bring it back. You get to redistribute four new tokens um, or four aim counters. So if you have multiple of these out um, and you have like five counters total, then you'll blow up two things at random instead of just one. Um, and the other thing that's great about this is that if you have two of these out, you put down Yorian and you blink one of the bombardments and then it comes back into play you redistribute four new aim counters and then one still gets blown up it's very 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 good uh and then of course we have qr best of sea gods um this is a seven mana enchantment when it comes into play create an eight eight blue kraken creature token with hex proof this alone is very good um the next one is tap all non-land permanents target opponent controls they don't untap during their controllers next untap step so this is really good against aggro and mid-range and a couple other, you know, um, top-end control decks that run a big creature like a Krasis or a giant um, a giant shark or something. Um, then the next turn, you gain control of target permanent and opponent controls and untap it. The thing is, is that what we do with this is on the second turn, so we play this, and then the next turn we tap all non-land permanents, and then we play Yorian, which... 
comes into play, exiles Cure Best Sea Gods, and then at the end of our turn, it comes back into play, makes another 8 8 Kraken. And then at the beginning of our next turn, we tap all their shit again, and then none of it untaps. So we just keep swinging in for free 8 8s, and then like two 8 8s, and then three 8 8s, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's just a Kraken gangbang, right? It's fantastic. Then Cruel Reality. I really like this card. I think it deserves more attention, um, but it's seven mana curse, enchant a player. At the beginning of enchanted player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Now keep in mind, this doesn't affect artifacts or enchantments, uh, so you still kind of get shit on by, um, by shrine decks, which sucks, but this is still very powerful. If the player can't, they lose five life, which is still a very good finisher. This is an alternate finisher, or cure best of sea gods still does a lot of damage and again it's not legendary so it stacks if you have all three of these out they have to sacrifice three things a turn it's almost like a one-sided um one-sided doom foretold uh, it does cost obviously a lot more but they can't sacrifice um like enchantments like shitty enchantments and artifacts but they can sacrifice tokens so you have to keep that in mind but again we do have a lot of board wipes to deal with that Usually they end up having to sacrifice Planeswalkers, which is really good. Uh, and then we also have this seven mana Nicol Bolas, which again, one of my favorite Planeswalkers right now. Uh, it's a seven mana, seven loyalty Planeswalker. Has a plus two of opponent exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile a non-land card. Until end of turn, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Amazing. Uh, so you can get a big fatty Planeswalker. You can get a removal spell. You can get... You know, a draw spell, you can get a ramp spell, you can get all sorts of shit. It's super fun. Uh, it has a plus one of each opponent exiles two cards from their hand, which is also very powerful, um, but we don't use this very frequently. I would much rather plus two and get a free cast of a spell. Um, then has a minus four of it deals seven damage target opponent, creature and opponent controls, or planeswalker and opponent controls. So this is good to finish off a planeswalker, this is good to finish off the opponent, because again, it's seven damage. So if you end up attacking with Cure Best Sea Gods Kraken like a couple times, you just need to finish off a little bit and just boom, hit him with the bolus. Um, alternatively, uh, you do have the minus 12, which again, you have to plus Nickel Bolus quite a few times to get to that. Um, but minus 12 is exile each non-land permanent your opponent controls. This is really cool, but if you're getting to the point where you can minus 12 Nickel Bolus, you're, you probably already won, so it's almost irrelevant. Uh, and then, of course, we have Ugin. Um, so we have the brothers here, Nicol Bolas and Ugin. Uh, it's eight mana, Planeswalker, seven loyalty, has a plus two, deals three damage to any target. This is just good. Uh, has a minus X of each permanent with converted mana cost X or less. That's one or more colors. So you just get to exile everything. Now, you got to keep in mind that it does exile stuff on our own board. So if we haven't flipped as Canty yet, most likely it's going to be exiled. It will exile our Kraken tokens, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, it's a very good card. And then, as a minus 10. A minus 10 is you lose, or sorry, you gain 7 life, you draw 7 cards, then you put up to 7 permanent cards from your hand onto the battlefield. This is amazing because if you end up getting Yorian, Bombardment, Cure Best Sea Gods, Cruel Reality, like all of this shit up here is insane if you can get any of that. Um, but it's a very, very fun deck. We tweaked it a bit. We did have Disinformation Campaign and a couple other cards like that in here. We ended up taking that stuff out uh, and changing it around. So we did get more of a finalized version of it, but I'm definitely going to tinker with this a little bit more in the future. So, um, but that's the deck. It's really fun. Uh, if you want to tinker with this, make sure you do it. But if you do, Leave your updates in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it because I do want to know what you changed with the deck. And if you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We do videos seven days a week. I also stream on Twitch six days a week at twitch.tv slash striderstone. Again, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you in the games. Enjoy. We, yeah, we won that game for sure. Had I known... Yeah, that was rough. That was rough. That was super easy game. At that point, oh my god, that was so easy.
Jesus. Deserves a clip, stop it. Oh, that's odd. Oh my god. Ugh. I don't know if I'm going to be anywhere close to casting that. I should probably put... I should probably put Search for His Kanta in here, right? Like blue. Okay. They have Muxus. Let's give them all haste. So we need to kill Cranko, right? I think Cranko would have been a problem. Even your one-liners. Oh, that's legendary. <laughs> oh, that's legendary? Oh, that's odd. Okay, we still have Extinction Event. And Languish. Wait. Odd, odd, even. Okay. We have to do this then. I did it right that time. I counted. I did a, I did the maths. With the F. Maths. Okay, now I can do even. Even. Because tokens are even. We did it. I don't really want to pay two life. So I'm not going to. That event was skillful? I know, I fucking countered and everything. <laughs> trying to keep them off that Muxus mana. We lose our disinformation campaign, but we're still good. We're still good. See, all right, this is how it's supposed to work when we don't punt. Alright. Careful chat, he's learning soon, he'll be unstoppable. Yeah. It's true. Conspicuous Snoop. Oh no. Oh no. Even, odd, even. Okay, so I can call even and be safe, because this is odd. Even chat. Okay, that's... That's odd. <laughs> oh, fuck me in the dick, chat. So, two, five. Hmm. So I'll block this, he'll take five, I'll ping that, and then I'll call even so my Yorian stays alive. I'm five heading the shit out of this right now, chat. Your fate is sealed. I mean, that's pretty good too. That's pretty good, too. My greatest creation. Are you adding quotes? Do not ignore my 
Okay. Let's go bombardment. <laughs> Almost took a shit at him. I'm surprised you didn't add the quotes for, oh, that's legendary. And, oh, that's not even. All right, our win condition. Our win condition is here, chat. Just top deck in anger. We were fine, though. We had it. We had the answers. They can't kill us this turn, we win Z's. Yeah, that bombardment going unchecked for that long is pretty fucking brutal. One, two, three, four, five. We killed like seven lands. Why five head when you can wipe? Well, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I was trying to redeem myself, okay? Game didn't let me redeem myself. They're like, no, you're probably gonna fuck it up here. Just have this. You know what, chat? We have not seen a single one of our Sunbirds invocations. I'm starting to think we might not need it. I believe in the blue source. I believe in the blue source. I, that's a blue card. I meant like a blue mana source, not a blue card. My deck's dumb sometimes. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Okay, I mean, that's a red source. You're winning games, I know, right? Alright, this is bad. Alright, as long as we can get one more Lando. Uno mas. This hurts so fucking much. Hey, there's the fucking blue source. Thank you, deck. That thing comes back, right? Oh no, it's on their turn that it has to happen. Noise. Noise. Spanish pog? Oh. Uh. Hmm. I do need this. Holy fuck. Or... Shit. <laughs> this is the only thing I can't deal with. Alright. It's the only thing I can't deal with. Wait, bring that back, bitch. They top deck a troll, that would be super sad. Okay, they didn't. Exile is cheat, I know, as it should be. Let's try to keep you as far away from this troll as possible. As far away as possible. An 
ancient vampire lore. We got them noodly boys and we have Yorians They can make us sacrifice creatures, but again, we have two Yorians so We should be okay Right does this make a sacrifice We have more noodly boys, chat. Noodle, noodle, noodle. Sure. Why not? You are dead. Unless you can gain life and kill me. Oh, well, they gain life with Sauron, right? Yeah. Welcome to the Kraken Gangbang. This is the stun lock. You should have sacrificed that. Okay. Easy Soren. Easy Soren hit. It's really cute. It's really cute. Having Yorian main deck with Noodly Boys is a bit ridiculous. The new bullets is so good. It's so much better than what people think it is. Turn to thought, Karen. Let's go. It's almost 1 a.m. here. Yeah, usually I get off at 10 because I have to do like, um, I have to start uploading the video. I have no way to deal with enchantments. No way to deal with enchantments, so that's the only thing I can do. Don't really want to keep taking Demuge, but kind of have to. All right, no more. No more shocking in lands. Maybe I should have just waited. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think I should have waited. Fuck me. All right. Holy shit. Yeah, that was a bad idea not to wait for that board wipe. Good thing we added additional board wipes. Nice, go bears. Down Illinois. Hmm. Let's 
six. Odd. It's odd, chat. Odd. We did it. We mathed. We did quick maths. Oh my god! Wow! Alright, bombardment, let's go. And I would have liked some land drops, but. much as I would love to shock in that land, I think it's too risky. I think it's too risky. We do go up to 10 here. Ooh, they had it. They had it. They were being a sneaky tweaky. Let's see how it is. I see how it is. Minus zero. Every day. Every day I take it. Alright, so if they want to do it again, they have to discard the card that's in their hand. Which again is pretty much fine. It's not what we want. Maybe we should have just aggressively put down our Yorian. That's actually really good. Okay. Is risk factor three mana? Risk factor is three, isn't it? Okay. Woo! Woo! So I think what we can do, we can take out the disinformation campaigns. We could add in, we could add in treasure maps for those. Yeah, and add in as cantas. Leaving chat? What are you talking about? Oh, the flying ravioli? Oh, shit.
Oh, this is a very, very, very greedy hand. Now, let's just guarantee our land drops. Should be okay. Fodder Razor. I see. Get him. Blood Sun. That's all a problem. Got the stream in my stites. Basically just need to get to the point where we can get that out of their fucking hand. Discard the land. Yeah, noodley boys don't get manipulated. Drop cruel reality and it's GG. Yeah. So is QR best sea god. Wow. I mean it's both it's both pretty heavy. But yeah, cruel reality is pretty high up there. So they get to sacrifice the Narset, which is sweet. Yeah, I always lose to Strider decks, like 100% of the time. Which sucks. It is a rule, yeah. We just kind of accept it now. Yeah. Sacrifice Planeswalker. Boy! Okay. Keep an open mind. Guess the Manip doesn't retarget it? Wait, what are you talking about? Manip only gets um, creatures and planeswalkers. Bye bye, Narset. Bye, have a great time. Oh, bye bye.
Yeah, I can't get rid of Cruel. Well, they have Ugin, right? He has Ugin. So, definitely can. It's just a matter of... If we can top deck a Thought Erasure to get rid of that mass manipulation and then play our Nicol Bolas. Right? Alright, that's one more Thought Erasure. We have two more. Not bad. Ooh. Going for that Lotus. Going for the Lotus. I mean, we're going to steal that Lotus, actually. I don't even know why I targeted that Lotus. Why, though? Fuck you in the dick. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is <sighs> Any reason you're not running Sweltering Sun over Anger? Uh, because I like the Exile effect. It's the only reason. The only reason... Yeah, but you can't cycle it? Yes, correct. I know. It's okay because all of the all of the decks that I worry about, I need to exile their creatures. I don't care about control decks because they don't bother me. You know? So if, uh, if I'm going up against a control deck and I always win, but when I go up against an aggro deck and they always beat me because I don't exile their creatures, I don't think Sweltering Suns answers that problem. So maybe I don't run to Yorian's main deck? Hmm. I could take out those Yorians and add two, uh, two thingamawatchets. Mastermind's acquisitions. Okay, it's fine. It's too much sifting. It's also Really, really good ramp. Mm hmm.
I like the maps over Maze Mine. I like both. Right now, the opponent can lick every orifice of my taint. Stop it. Get some help. Hmm. This person in the... This looks identical to one of my decks. I also feel like I've seen this deck before. What's up? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, they couldn't have uh, cast it anyway. Well... We have noodly boys. Is a journey, not a destination. That was a pretty good turn, if I'm not mistaken. Was a pretty good turn. Hello. At least we have a couple turn two plays, right? Damn it, that was a land. You need it because it's a land. <laughs> Now we need a black source. Hmm. It's like I want to draw from this. Because now that we know they have hand hate, kind of worried about it. All right, what do you got? Nice. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Your library for what are they searching for? Doesn't matter. We have a noodly boy. Noodle, noodle, noodles. I want. Noodly boys in chat. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Oh, we don't have enough to cast it. Dang it. Well, we're gonna take... We're gonna take their bacon, I think. No, let's take that. It's pretty good. I would like to say that's pretty mean. It's pretty mean. Yeah, I think Yorian with disinformation campaign is kind of fucked up, right? Right? Hmm. Let's save it. Language not bad. Storm's wrath, eh? <laughs> to me, it's two. It's kind of greedy. It feels like you need a couple eliminator, heartless act, big Ugin and Bullis. It's definitely greedy. It's a hundred percent greedy. Need that blue source. Got it. Here comes the bombardment. Should be bombardment into Kiora. Into a... Into a Yorian. You got it. Might actually just minus four kill that Nissa. Hey, let's see who's greedier, shall we? So, again, I can 
Bolus minus four and smack that Nissa's dick off. Do I do that? I think I do have to Yorian reset the Kiora still though. I gotta get them in that stun lock. But, I mean, let's just fucking take the Nissa. You know what? Let's take their Ugin, shall we? Maybe they're Olamog? We'll take a Nissa. We'll take it. <laughs> Must be new here. What up, Ravioli? Soul Seer, mother of dick. We we take that beanstalk giant. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely taking the beanstalk giant. There's no fucking question about that. No question about that. The land shall conquer you. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so they get both of them. Let's see. Hmm. I don't have any forests. Two, three, five. Okay. Yes. Together we will prevail. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Um I mean if I bombardment it does all that shit. Don't know if I wanna do that. Do I? Ugh. Fuck me, chat. Fuck me, indeed. Two, three, six. So I'm still good on that. Hmm. The hell is this? It's a thing. <laughs> Some substance. We're working on it, okay? 
It'll it'll do something eventually. Um We need an extinction event. That's really what we need. We did put those yeah, okay, we have three extinction events. We'll take it. After a thousand years, I'm getting the hang of it. I mean, yes. Those even, odd, odd, even. So everything is even except for that. Oh, that's odd. <laughs> Why did I think that was even? I looked at the six and I'm like, that's even. It's turning to, it is Grixis. The deck is Grixis. We just took their Tefri in there. We had that game. I didn't even realize that was odd. Oh my God. Yeah, that was like the giant, that was a big throw. A big, big, big throw. Yo, what up YouTube? Yeah, we going here, Strider. <laughs> Come on. You didn't really think that I was that type of person, did you? Thank you everyone so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you were even a little bit entertained by this video, please make sure to let me know down below. And if you have anything that you would like to see next, go ahead and leave that there too. And make sure to check out my live stream five days a week, every day except Sunday and Thursday. Stream times down below.